Let's talk about decreasing percents. Remember, 100% of a number equals that number. If something has a decrease of 5%, then it is 100 minus that number. So a decrease of 5% becomes 100 minus 5%, or 95% of what it was. The percentage is now less than 100. We'll do an example. Ashanti is not going to buy this special jacket for $239. She is going to wait until next week when it is 15% off. How much will the jacket cost next week? The price of the jacket is being decreased by 15%. Therefore, it is at 100 minus 15 or 85% of its original cost. The percent equation becomes what is 85% of 239. We will substitute in our values. Now we'll solve for the unknown, so the price becomes $203.15. We will change this example just slightly and see what we're looking for this time. Ashanti is not going to buy this special jacket for $239. She's going to wait until next week when it becomes 15% off. How much money will she save? We are wanting to know how much less money the new price is. So we want the decrease in price. What is 15% of $239? Substitute in the values and solve for the unknown. Our answer is $35.85. This is what she will save. Let's do one more example. Today, the population of Somerville is 13,400. It has decreased by 12% from what it was in the year 2010. What was its population in the year 2010? We find that the population now is 100 minus 12% or 88% of what it was in 2010. Write the equivalent ratios. Substitute in the values and solve for the unknown. The population in 2010 was 15,227 rounded to the nearest person. The key steps to solving these kinds of problems. 1. Read the question carefully. 2. Notice what you are given and what you want to find. 3. Set up and solve the equivalent ratios. 4. Answer the question, and always check to see if your answer is reasonable.